Yo, 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 thank you so much for tuning in to Conversations with Glow Radio Show, where it's just not questions. It is definitely a conversation, okay? Y'all already know that, so get in tune. If you don't, get in tune, okay? Be sure to visit ConvoWithGlow.com so therefore you can sign up for the emailing list so therefore you can get more information about me, your girl Glow, and also the future guests that I will also have on the show as well. Also understand that the website will be going under construction as I will be bringing into new content. So therefore you can get to know more about Conversations with Glow, the group on Facebook. Um, Also more about the podcast and all that good stuff. So don't forget to go over to ConvoWithGlow.com and sign up for the emailing list. But anyway, enough about me, okay? I have a guest on here. You know, I asked some people, you know, do y'all want to be on Conversations with Glow Radio Show? You know, folks, tune in. So I am going to allow for her to introduce herself. And then y'all already know we're going to get into the conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Glow. This is your girl. They call me the school teacher because I really (laughs) am one. But yeah, this is Miss Cruel coming at you, ready for those conversations with Glow. Yes, yes, okay, yes, all right. So, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all already know the conversation. And so the conversation really about is, do titles really matter to you? Do titles really matter to you? What about you, Miss Cruel, school teacher? I think titles matter to me to a degree. I think, again, it depends on the context in which we are talking. If it's friends and family, most of the time your friends and family know who your significant other is. But it's when you step outside of people who do not know you. When you come into, uh, for example, the workplace and you are introducing your significant other to their coworkers for whatever reason, do you look at them and say, oh, this is my girlfriend or boyfriend, or this is just my friend. Because when you say just my friend, that opens up a whole can of worms to the people on the outside that, oh, y'all might just be friends on that point of view. But then on the flip side of that, you keep telling people, I'm just your friend. Then you're going to do things that allow you to just do friend stuff. I think the, the 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 commitment has to come between the two people. And as long as I know you committed to me, you can vice versa. That's cool. But it's on the outside sometimes that those people on the outside need to know as well. So they don't overstep their boundaries. Do you think that the people on the outside can possibly be too nosy? That too. Okay. And the only reason why I ask that is because I have been in a situation that calls for me to end up in a situ. I I don't want to call it a situation ship because that's, you know, like it's, it's still whatever, but okay. Boom. So we got your opinion as to why do titles matter? Me personally, I don't think that titles really matter and how I got here is because when I first got with my ex, we were we were telling it we we got we got together as friends, mm-hmm. but we were doing boyfriend and girlfriend things. But when it came to, you know, I'm introducing him to my family as my friend. He's introducing me to his family as his friend. So then, boom, and then, you know, he's at my house all the time. Then, boom, he ends up moving in as my friend, okay? So we move in kind of fast, all right? So everybody is basically looking at me like, okay, so glow. Like, y'all still only just friends? I'm like, yeah, you know, that's my friend. But when you got people that's in your ear, now I'm pressuring. I'm just like, I'm not going to say I'm pressuring him. I, I'm not. I'm not going to say that I pressure him, but I was just like, okay, so I think we need a title. This is what do we, me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is back when I was a little bit younger. Um, cause I got with him in my late, my late twenties and I was just like, okay, so what are we going to, what, what are we going to do? You know, like 
we we need a we need to be something. And it didn't take, you know, something we we ended up being boyfriend and girlfriend. Then what happened is that some some events happened in between our boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. So that's what made me basically revert back to I don't I don't think that we need to have titles in this relationship because what I feel as if what folks do and and this is how I got to this conclusion. I feel like a lot of people um focus too much on the title okay. than actually being who they suppose like actually act, then actually being their selves. So with them not actually being their selves and them so with them actually focusing more on the title, like okay, so I'm this girlfriend, I'm getting ready to do this girlfriend thing, like blah, 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 blah. and then when I become this wife, I'm so focused on being this wife that I forget mm. who I am Ooh, as okay. a person. You get what I'm Ooh. saying? Okay. So sometimes I, people can get lost in the sauce. I, I now that one that that point I, I agree because you are then focused on. Being okay, well, I gotta be this this loyal girlfriend. I gotta be, you know, we gotta do couple stuff and we have to do all of these things that people mm-hmm. forget to be mm-hmm. friends first and to key to and continue to be friends. But I do think it does open I think it can go either way. Mm-hmm. I think it does open up for outsiders to one day our nose. They're like, Oh, okay, so they just friends, so that means he off limits, or you know, is it a go? Or it could be, you know, oh, they, they, you know, they, that whole chitter chatter behind it. But if the two people have an understanding, I think that's where the conversation really has to happen. Mm-hmm. That those two people have to say, look, we know what it is because we're the ones that's going through it. Um, now we got to set boundaries outside of that within ourselves. Like if we're just going to call each other friends and still be friends with benefits, well, then we have to set those boundaries. Like, look. Uh, that that what does that look like? What does that mean? Does that mean because we are friends with benefits, you don't talk to other people and I don't talk to other people? Like that's when you have to get deep into it. What the two people want? Mm-hmm. Um, now now that whole I used to laugh when people you know get on Facebook and they say, oh I'm single or this that and the third. Now that kind of title stuff I, I think is BS, but I just think it's more so when you still want that respect of being called something to people outside of your household like you just gonna keep calling me your friend knowing we or you know knowing we live together knowing we do everything together but i'm still your friend because then if some things happen and we know that sometimes both men or female may step outside mm-hmm. it sounds like it becomes acceptable because we're just friends we're right. not committed and so then it's almost as if you have a past to do whatever but it also means what have y'all talked about collectively at home amongst the two of you what are those boundaries that y'all have said have you said hey you're free to have an open you know we have this open friendship meaning you can still talk to other people or hey if we gonna do this we gotta be mindful and and set those boundaries together collectively right right and i don't think that boundaries were set Mm. And I don't think that a lot of people know how to set those boundaries because you have a lot of people out here that does not know how to communicate. So Mm -hmm. if I don't know how to communicate, how am I going to know how to set boundaries? And that's the big conversation right there. Communication. Right. Because It's it's, it's been a a topic all year. (laughs) Like, it's just like, yeah, like, because it's, it's for real. Mm-hmm. Like because that's I, when you set the boundaries. You got to talk about it. But if you're not talking about it, then the issue arises, and then you got to talk about it. But by the time the issue arises, feelings are really hurt or may not be, you know, like attitudes are there, and now it creates a bigger problem when we could have just sat down in the beginning and said, okay, like you said, what are we doing? Are we just if we're gonna be friends, let's talk about this and set these boundaries. And that's what I don't think we do that. Collectively, I've never done it. I ain't gonna lie and say I didn't. You know, I, I, I no, I didn't. Once we got to a point, we started banging, 
and spending all time together. That was it right there, baby. <laughs> I mean, that was it. So you just that's made what, an assumption, like my man, my man. That's what that's that's where we at with it. Hey. And you don't have again that conversation. Hey, this what are, when I say now I can sit up here and say, okay, well, what are we really really doing in terms of are we committed to each other even though we don't have a title? I mean, because I have an uncle who was with his, they, they actually got married after they had been together almost 40 years. We looked at him and said, well, what the hell are y'all having a wedding for now? Because y'all been been together damn near a half a century. And they just laughed and kiki ha ha about it. And people do laugh because they're like, well, what you, what you want a title for? What you want to be married? There's a lot of stuff that comes with Getting married. That's what I was getting ready to say. There's <laughs> because benefits, if whatever it's like benefits the... behind it, like you don't want to be that friend of the family or the friend of the person that passed away. You want your name to be, you know, important beside that, like wife. You, it, 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 that makes sense to a degree, but you also have you also get into problems when it comes to property, when it comes to different things that y'all have built together. Um, yeah. when my dad died, um, my mom had to go through all of these different things, of course, because his name they they were married and going through it. But had they not been married, it might would have been an even bigger issue because now who does his cars go to? Yeah. What what how are you dividing the property? What, what now because you at the end of the day you have people can say what they want to say we live in a world where stuff it's about what's on that paper and that meant my daddy could have had a $250,000 life insurance policy but if my mama wasn't Miss Cruel or wasn't nowhere on it <laughs> that it, it then then what do we do next like it I think it's more than now dating is one thing but when you get married I see the I see the economic situation there too. But exactly. even if you're not That's married, what I was getting ready to say like, okay, so when I when when I say this, okay, when I say that titles doesn't matter, I mean as far as the boyfriend girlfriend. Mm -hmm. okay? When it comes to the husband and wife, you have on a ring, so that means that you know you all both basically made an agreement. To be 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 basically as one to y'all vow to each other and things as such. Um, so when you do that, it comes with different, you know, things. But again, I don't, you know, yes, of course you have your wife duties, but mm -hmm. what I'm saying is like don't get lost in the sauce lost. of who you are as a person because that can easily happen. You know, because and you that person, you wife. I'm the wife. I'm the wife. <laughs> right. You're focusing <laughs> on this title. Like you're so busy. Uh uh uh. Like, okay, we get it. We understand, but who are you outside of okay. being mm -hmm. such and such wife? <laughs> because you know, if y'all separate, whatever, then who are you? <laughs> are you exactly. if y'all are you still who you you know, are you still true to, to who you are yourself being and I think that's what happens in situations when people split up and it's always the, the girl, they say, you know, she start going to the gym, start getting, losing weight and getting, you know, upset, you know, trying to make the, the, the ex jealous and this, that, the third, mm -hmm. but it's because I think a little bit of that, we do forget who we are because we are so yeah. committed to trying to make that boyfriend, girlfriend relationship work, work. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what we put our, our focus into. And I can't, I'm not going to say just females. Cause I know some guys who really are 10 toes yeah. down, but, yeah. I, but that's what they do that they get into that situation where they want the stuff to, to work so much that they forget, you know what? I got my own identity. It's not we all the time. Mm -hmm. It can mm -hmm. be slightly you and them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you see, I, I'm, 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 that's why I said it depends. It depends on the situation and the boundaries that the people set. Like I said, I'm in a, a current situation. Everybody know that know us, we cool. You know what I mean? They was like, oh, you know, we know y'all together, together. 
But when it comes to the outside people, like if I, you know, coming to my job or whatever, I still feel some type of way. I ain't going to lie when I introduce him as my friend and not my boyfriend. Right. Because then I'm like, well, darn. Do they are they taking this situation serious? Like how is an image should not be a thing. And I don't get me wrong. I know we say it should not be a thing, but we're human and we allow that that to come into play about mm -hmm. image. Well, what do people see? We try our best to be like, I don't give a I don't care about what people say. But in the back of your mind, it's like, yeah, what are they thinking? Oh, this is just a, a little wham bam. Mm, okay, she ain't serious, or why she why they ain't have why they haven't committed? They don't know what we talked about at the house. Right. All they know is that's that be the that but that be like you yeah. don't know what's going on mm -hmm. behind closed doors. And doors that's yeah. where I was at with mine's like. Y'all don't know what we discussing behind closed doors. This man's still paying bills. Yeah, we laying beside each other. But yeah, I still want to call him my friend. Mm -hmm. like, what happened is that the outside influence so bad that we did end up getting into a relationship to the point like we're no longer in a relationship. It's you like the, the, it's, it's just, like society forced you to make that to make that title work because exactly. it was like you already doing A, B, C, D. So exactly. just go ahead and do it. So just go ahead and do it. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I and I do want to agree with you in regards with it boundaries should be set when you are coming into this situation ship. Um, especially with someone that you could have called, you know, that you are calling your friends with benefits. Mm -hmm. I also feel like you know that it should be boundary set. Now if you want to have friends with benefits and still, you know, possibly have another partner or two on the side, I feel like sometimes that should be disgusted with the person that, you know, that you, mm -hmm. you know, that you really cool with, you know, like if you find yourself being really cool with this person and possibly find it to go somewhere else. Why wouldn't you want to actually share that information and have that conversation? Because it could just be again. We all know you you go into a situation, you become friends with a person, and then bam, y'all in a committed relationship. Everybody kind of rushes through that friendship thing. But if you are friends and, and have established that friendship, then it should be enough to say, you know what, as much as I love spending time with you or X, Y, Z, I kind of, you know, want to do yeah. this, that, the third. Mm -hmm. And if y'all have established a solid friendship and you're able to have that conversation, then what's the, you know, you can be able to be cordial outside of, all right, then when you go your way, I go mine. Mm -hmm. Cause at the end of the day, we was just friends mm -hmm. and you were able to come to me as a friend. Mm -hmm. But when you skip past that friend stage and you jump right into boyfriend, girlfriend, and you want to step out, that's where the hostility comes in. That's where the mm -hmm. aggression comes in. That's where the hurt come in. And then y'all not good after that. And it's not cautious. And then it blows up even bigger. And it didn't right. have to be that way. Right. Right. Okay, Miss Cruz. Thank you. Woo! Take us to church, y'all. She the one with the spill. Okay? She the one with the spill tonight, y'all. Usually it'd be me with the spill. But it's Miss Cruz yeah. with the spill. This Maybe. That's, that's a, but that's a, that's a big topic. Do titles really matter? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, and then how you perceive those titles too. Like I get and, frustrated and, when the girl be you, like, I'm the I'm the, you see this, so I'm the girlfriend, I'm the girlfriend. What does that and mean? He paying all these bills as long as okay. But that anyway, y'all, that's another <laughs> conversation. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. No problem, Miss Crew. Thank you so much for coming through and topping it up with me, your girl Glow. And before you do head out, I do want you to tell the folks where they can find you with. Who you can find me probably a little bit on IG, Miss Cruel 1979. Also, my Facebook, same name, Shantae Cruel. Also, Snapchat, I'm on there. I don't even know how I am on Snapchat, but guess what? <laughs> you can probably find me. Most of y'all know me. I just want y'all to be blessed, be straight, be safe in these streets, and just live each day to the fullest. 
Hey, y'all heard what she said. Be straight and live each day to the fullest. I and subscribe to the podcast if you just happen to come across it. Make sure you are a subscriber. Period. Y'all, y'all hear that? Period. Make sure you are a subscriber. Okay. Thank and you. And before I plug off, y'all make sure y'all get them kids together because the end of the nine weeks is coming. So be ready because I'm still a school teacher and I'm going to drop that knowledge real quick. Check on them kids' grades. <laughs> Check on the grades. <laughs> but anyway, Miss Cruz, thank you again so much for coming through and chopping it up with me. For y'all that is out there listening, I do want to thank y'all so much for tuning in to Conversations with Glow Radio Show. It has been such, such a pleasure tonight. And y'all already know in the meantime, between time, y'all take care of yourselves. Peace out. Peace.